I am Pap Wade, CEO and co-founder of Eridi. Welcome to this interview. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Um, and why don't you first take just 30 seconds to tell us what Eridi does? Thank you, Flora, for Florian. So um, Eridi is an air shower tech. What we do is to help organizations uh, to optimize the HR process. So we help them to by uh, using AI uh, to make sure that you know they will make the good decision you know, in the uh, right place to make sure that the people will reach their full potential and the organization uh, will have more value to and create value. And how does that work with, a, with an AI application? So it's a SaaS platform, um, and uh, so um, uh, the user uh, can um, integrate uh, his data and um, and use the application. Uh, for example, just to give you an example, uh, I have a, a health and safety issue. How I can manage the the file, for example. Uh, so our application, the AI that we have, uh, is uh, um, his name is Pam. So Pam is a virtual assistant powered by AI. Uh, so it can give you an advice uh, and how you can uh, manage your health and safety uh, case uh, based on you know the law and based to the best practice in uh, uh, in how you can manage uh, health and safety files. Interesting. It sort of sounds like it's a virtual HR assistant. Yeah, but it's not a virtual. It's not only a virtual assistant uh, system. So because uh, we can uh, we can provide a dashboard, we can provide data, uh, we can pro provide you know many information that you know, can help organization you know to make better decision in HR. So what has been your experience founding and bringing an AI startup to scale in Canada? Uh, what were some of your main challenges? How have you overcome them? Tell us the story a bit. Yeah, so uh, two years ago, I, I was, you know, uh, taking coffee with my co-founder, Amanda Sierra. Uh, so uh, what we was wondering is why we wake up every day and do, you know, what we passionate. And what we passionate is HR how we can help people you know to reach their full potential and create more value uh, in in the organization so we arrive in the conclusion that you know we wasted a lot of time you know by um, by doing a transactional task we uh, did not focus you know on you know the the, uh, the dna of hr the dna of hr is to focus on people in organization and create value, uh, you know, in the uh, in the organization, and we and we don't do that. And uh, so our passion brings us in discussion how we can do to reinvent the way that you know people uh, manage HR. So uh, we comes in the conclusion that you know we we have to build uh, something, you know, that can make a difference for organization. It is, you know, the first step that we start to build everything. It is uh, the first step. And after that, you know, uh, the, the other question was, uh, uh, we are both two co-founders and we have a, a, a deep knowledge in HR and how, you know, we can, um, we, we can have um, and put in place a people management plan and strategy. And the other question is, yes, we have, this big you know this deep uh, knowledge but we don't have technical deep knowledge and so we have to to find and to build you know a, te a, a technological team to help us you know to achieve you know our our vision and our dream so the second step was you know to to sit with uh, with Rochester in polytechnic and uh, to speak with with Ivado uh, Institute de Valorisation des Données. Uh, so uh, we have a discussion with them and we convince them, you know, to, to, uh, to, to join the team and help us, you know, uh, to build, you know, the technical uh, team. This is the, this is the story of, of ROD. It's a fascinating story. And what is most obvious is that you're first passionate about HR and as you just said, the challenge for you was to sort of, uh, I guess, build the tech capacity. What are, in your view, some of the sort of pressure points or main challenges that Canadian companies entering the scale-up phase need support with? 
one of the of the big challenge that uh, you know AR company uh, have you know particularly when they start is you know to have access to uh, to the fund definitely uh, so because it's all around you know if you don't have a money if you don't have you know enough fund you know a fund it's very difficult you know to go to the next to the next step so this is one thing but the second thing is you know if you don't have people strong people around you now you can have you know you can raise money you can go everywhere you want but you know it will be very difficult you know to achieve you know the goal so this is why i think that you know having fun and you know having people strong people around you you know we can go you know with the mentor uh we can you know and, and can help after you know to build a strong team canadian companies in general startups scale-ups uh but perhaps especially in the tech sector uh they they often struggle with commercialization and one of the challenges we hear is that canadian tech adoption is is perhaps not what it should be um what is your experience with commercialization and what do you think can be done about it the tech market is a very tough tech market. So um, it is why I think that you know um, startup uh, have to go step by step. You know, and in LD, we uh, what we do is a pilot project when we start with our client. So this is uh, and we when we do the pilot project with them, you know, we build in the same time a strong relationship with them. So this is the, this is the first step that I think can help startup, you know, to reach the market, you know, um, uh, and commercialize the the product. The second thing is I think that the government, you know, can help uh, startup by you know uh, putting in place, you know, a program that you know um, encourage um, big uh, big enterprise, you know, to work together, you know, with uh, with startups. Um, in LD we do that, and um, and it's uh, it's a, a middle um, a middle ground approach that we we put in place. And uh, the middle the middle ground approach is when uh, big companies and startups you know uh, work together you know to realize you know and to to put in place a product that they can they can use for uh, for today and for the future. So I, I think that you know uh, this is the way that you know uh, startup can um, can work with uh, with big companies uh, to reach the market and have the proof of concept and after that I think that it's more easier because uh, the, the innovation when you do innovation you have to educate in the same time your customer mm. so we you have to convince the, the customer that you know it's the good product and they can create value in their operation. So this is, this is why I think that, you know, it's more difficult for startup, you know, to reach uh, market, uh, the, the market when the, the product is, is ready. And the other thing is, you know, do not wait at 100% that the product is ready to reach the market. So I think that it's something that is a mistake that many uh, startup makes because they would like to, to make sure that you know the, the product is perfect at hand percent and go to the market and uh, we in, in LD that was not our, our 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 approach what we do is the pilot project and after the pilot project you know the customer you know uh, acquire the, uh, the, uh, the the product that we we, uh, we are selling now I think that you have to represent yourself in the future and to say you know uh, when when we start LD, we have one of, uh, of our advisor who who told us so go and get the market you know where they are. You know don't stay only in Canada. So go everywhere that you think that you can find a business. Go there. If you see yourself you know uh, to be a big company you know in the in the coming years, you have you know day one to go to see you know around the world what's going on there and you know where you can get the customer so this is what we do now we are in france and we are working harder to be in uh, you know in rio de janeiro you know in the in the coming year uh, so uh, we are talking with uh, customers you know in in usa and uh, so i think that it's very very important for to make sure that you know uh, 
you have the projection for for your future. So if you were to pitch uh, someone in Canada, often people pitch the prime minister or a minister or, you know, the, their peers, the youth, whoever you want, um, who would you choose to pitch and what would you say to improve our ability to scale our our, our small businesses in, in Canada? So I will speak with uh, industrials. Uh, because you know uh, they can help a startup uh, to grow and to scale uh, by having a partnership with, with them, uh, by believing on you know in, in them, by trusting you know the uh, the entrepreneurs, uh, so uh, they can help us to make a difference you know uh, by the innovation that we are working on, and they can integrate it in this innovation, you know uh, in the in the operation uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, in HR tech uh, or in the, in in AI in general, you know, can create you know a big value in the operation. So I think that working together uh, can you know uh, can be a create uh, can create a value for um, for the startup for them and uh, for Canada. I think. Mm -hmm.